Hey guys, so earlier today we spoke about character. What is character? I'm going to give you a definition that was dropped in my spirit. You know, we have the definition that we see in the dictionary, which is suffice, okay? But here's another definition. Your character is the very essence of who you are. Your character is your personal testimony. It doesn't matter how much you try to switch up, change up. Your character speaks louder than your words. People say action speaks louder than words. No, character speaks louder than words. Your character is going to come out in how you deal with situations. The very essence of who you are is going to come out in how you deal with people, how you speak, how you act, how you dress, how you manage the day-to-day -day things, the challenges, your character is going to speak that. Not only that, your character is a very huge testimony of who you are plugged into spiritually. So there is light and dark. Your character is going to speak on who your father is, who your spiritual father is. Meaning, when you are when you are uh, rooted in Christ, it is going to affect your character and it's going to show in how you deal with people and how you do things. Even if your character is not perfect, we all have things that is not perfect, but when you are locked into Christ, you will find there will be less and less of your uh, of your uh, physical or human character, the old tendencies that you have, and the godly characters will come up will begin to be manifested you'll even surprise yourself now when you are rooted in satan the devil i hate to put it like that and people don't like to hear it but when you are rooted in the father of lies the father the prince of the air is going to come out in your character you're going to speak like the world you're going to act like the world you're going to handle things the same way there will be no difference between you and the man who is absolutely unsaved the only difference is he may have a little more character than you because he knows who he is he confesses out of his mouth who he is and he's not trying to be anything different your character is your testimony your character is the essence of your very being and your soul your character is who you are when you are by yourself your character is the the uh as I said before, it's a testament, it's a testimony, it's a testament of who you are. Now, if you have a flawed character, if you have done some things that's just been downright raving squirrel wrong, and I'm being funny, but I'm not, but I am, just know that you can always turn that around. Don't look at, oh, this is who I am. Don't allow people to keep you in bondage of what you used to be. But you have to get before the Lord and allow him to change you. It is not a decision in your mind that I am no longer going to be this way and I'm not no longer going to do this. Because it's something that's been deposited in you. It's maybe come down from generational curses or generational habits, things that you have been exposed to. But I will tell you, make no mistake about it. It is a spiritual, it is a spiritual uh, stronghold. That means it's something that's it's on autopilot in you. But you have the power of choice to say, Lord, I don't want to be this way anymore. I want to follow and do the things that you have called me to do. I keep messing up. I keep stealing. I keep lying. I keep cheating. I can't seem to do things right. I'm just like my daddy. I'm just like this. No, don't say that. You know, your parents may have gone through things that caused them to have some character flaws as well. But don't blame them. Turn to God and allow him to change you so you can make a difference for yourself. You can make a difference for your children, your family, and you'll be in a position to hear from God and be able to act and do things His way, which is going to in turn bring you much happiness and everlasting life. All right, guys? Later.